latest news update from Western Mass News. Good evening, I'm Sarah Grinelli. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. Terrifying moments over Denver, Colorado yesterday. A plane's engine burst into flames and broke apart at 15,000 feet in the air. The pilot had to turn the plane around shortly after takeoff. Authorities say large pieces of debris fell onto the ground. There was more than 200 people on that flight at the time. Officials say no one was hurt. The NTSB is investigating. Local Girl Scouts found a new alternative to selling their infamous cookies. Today, there was a drive through booth in West Springfield at a local church. The cookie drive is a way, safe way for them to be able to sell their Girl Scout cookies for their annual fundraiser. And you can also order them online and pick them up at the booth. There's been some encouraging news in the COVID-19 pandemic. Trends of the potentially deadly virus are falling, but health officials stress the battle is far from over. As a reminder, for people to continue their safety precautions in addition to wearing masks and keeping socially distanced from others, Americans also are advised to get the COVID-19 vaccine as soon as possible. My first warning, meteorologist Don Maher. Lots of sunshine out there today, but the clouds are going to start to move back in tonight. It will be a cold night, but a dry one. Tomorrow afternoon, going to have to watch for an area of low pressure that will bring some snow, transitioning to a mixed terrain here in the valley. Accumulations will be on the minor side, coating to an inch lower valley, one to three inches in the higher elevations. That system moves on out tomorrow night, and then we're dry and we're getting milder through the middle part of the week. In fact, we go from temperatures tomorrow in the mid 30s to lower 40s on Tuesday. Fair amount of clouds around here though. Wednesday looks like lots of sunshine and the mildest day of the week with temperatures getting into the lower and middle 40s. So we're certainly going to see some melting take place as we head through the next couple of days. Once we get that system out of here, though, as I mentioned, impacts do look to be minor. I do expect tomorrow evening's commute to be a slow one. That milder air will be with us into the day on Thursday, though there will be a chance for a shower and then we're cooler as we head towards the end of the week and into the beginning of next weekend. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.